Hey there, my friend, this is Dr. Anthony Balduzzi, founder here at the Fit Mother Project, and I wanna welcome you to today's episode where we're specifically gonna be talking about the best female weight loss diet. And what I wanna do is really just pull back the curtain and show you a day in the life of our Fit Mother Project program members. And these are the ladies you see right here who have lost a lot of weight using their program. And it's no surprise that nutrition is the key to losing weight. In fact, it's probably 80% of the battle. Now, we all know healthy eating is important, but the secret to healthy eating is making it in a way that's actually sustainable, meaning you enjoy it, it fits into your life, and it also supports your energy, in your mood, in your hormones, and it's not some crash fad diet that you're just gonna fall off track with. So what I wanna do is basically run through a day of healthy eating as I see it. I'm gonna give you some specific tips on what to do first thing in the morning to energize your body, what to eat for breakfast, lunch, snack, and dinner. I'm gonna lay it out in a simple way, so hopefully you can take some tips from this video, implement it, into your life this week and start seeing some results, let's dive into today's video. All right, so let's get into the best female weight loss diet. Now, with any diet that's geared towards helping you lose weight, we need to be in some kind of a calorie deficit, meaning you are burning more calories than you're ingesting. And there's the concept that we can go exercise off calories, but that takes a lot of time and a lot of effort. And exercise is beneficial. It's easier to actually scale back the number of calories you're eating by eating higher quality nutrient dense foods and finding a way that it fits into your schedule in an easy way. And so let's start off the day. The first thing your body needs right in the morning is not food. It is some amazing water. So I have a water bottle here that I think is around 40 ounces or so. What I want you to start aiming for is getting at least 20 ounces of water ideally up to 32 ounces within 30 minutes of waking up. Because your body's been in a basically a fasted, dehydrated state while you're sleeping, and you need to get water to kickstart the system. And a lot of people who feel sluggish in the morning and have a low metabolism and feel like they have headaches are just simply dehydrated. And our bodies have our arteries and our veins, which carries that vital blood. We also have a lymphatic system, and the lymphatic system is part of the way that carries our immune system and, and helps us feel like fluid and not achy in the morning, and water is key for that. Now, the way to make it even better is to actually remineralize your water. So what you can specifically do is use some trace mineral drops like I have here. These are, this is a brand called Concentrace, and these are some trace minerals you can put in there, and they actually give the water an added boost to help you get more hydration. Or you can kind of be old school, which is also great, and get some pink Himalayan salt. And this is great, because pink Himalayan salt has over 80 different trace minerals, and you just basically put a couple uh, turns of this in there, and the water should taste slightly salty, and that's gonna be so good for your morning. Now, after you've hydrated, ideally you move around for a few minutes, breathe through your nose, stretch, take a walk, do something to get system a little energized that's gonna get you in the right frame of energy for the day. And now you certainly can have coffee or tea or some kind of caffeine source that's totally fine for weight loss. In fact, caffeine itself and so does coffee has some actual benefits for boosting your metabolism and liberating fat from your fat cells. But you make sure that you don't wanna throw a whole bunch of crap in there. So you don't use a whole bunch of sugar or too much creamer. You can have a little bit of something, but I prefer that you actually have a little bit of a couple drops of stevia, like a liquid stevia, or maybe a tiny splash of some unsweetened almond milk. Or if you drink tea, you don't need anything altogether. But here's a little thing that I love. This is a product and actually my friend of mine owns this company. The company's called Living Ratio and he has this little powder called Cacao Calm, which is a sugar-free chocolate powder um, that has some adaptogens, some nice mushrooms and stuff. And the reason I love this is my wife and I, we actually just put like a tablespoon of this in our coffee and it tastes absolutely amazing. It's like, it makes the coffee so, so tasty and it's a simple thing. So you could use something like this or just make your own, a couple drops of stevia, maybe a little cacao powder, and now you have a supercharged coffee. So that could be in the morning. Now the morning time is kind of interesting because some people find that it's a good time to exercise. If this is good for you, I do recommend you exercise at a fasted state and eat afterwards. So if you can get a little morning workout in that works for your schedule, do it then, and you'll have the first meal breakfast afterwards. If that does not work for you and you can work out later in the day, we'll talk about some of the timing in just a little bit. Now your first meal of the day, we'll call it breakfast. You don't necessarily have to have breakfast. If you're not a breakfast person, you can actually just fast, drink water, tea, and black coffee, and you don't have to have a morning meal. But if you are a breakfast person, then you can have a breakfast. And either way, whether you're having that meal something around six, seven, eight a.m. or later around 11 o'clock noon, you wanna standardize that first meal of the day. This is so, so important, I really wanna emphasize this. Weight loss is about being consistent with our nutrition, and the best time to be consistent is first thing in the morning, to have a standardized, healthy meal. And here are a couple options that I want you to think about what might work for well for you. You can do some kind of egg recipe, so maybe you have some kind of omelet with some veggies and turkey bacon. Maybe you get some scrambled or sunny side up eggs with a small side of berries or fruit. 
Maybe you're the kind of person who eats a vegan vegetarian diet. So you do some high protein overnight oats. So you soak some rolled oats the night before and some unsweetened almond milk. You have some wild blueberries in there and you top it with some hemp, hemp seeds or chia seeds. That's a high protein meal, very, very good. Or maybe you wanna make a high protein breakfast smoothie. This is something that works for so many of our fit mothers. Basically you get a high quality protein powder. So we have our fit mother super fuel. This is the plant-based version of it that I personally use. You throw about a scoop and a half of a high quality protein powder that has good protein, but it also has some vitamins, minerals, probiotics, and good stuff. And you also might throw in some almond milk, maybe a little bit of baby spinach, maybe some cacao, maybe some hemp seeds, chia seeds, and some organic berries. And you blend that up and it can actually taste super delicious. And you're having something that really takes around five, 10 minutes to make, fills you up, doesn't have a lot of digestive stress. Because here's the deal, and I think you know this in your own life, if you start the day off with like a lot of sugar or eating baked goods or pastries or just not eating anything at all and you normally would have a breakfast, you're on the back foot. You're already reactive from the first moment of the day. So getting a healthy breakfast in place is key. And if you want specific recipes, of course, we have our full Fit Mother program that's linked in the description. We also have a free Fit Mom Jumpstart that gives you basically a printable version of this plan I'm going through. We'll send it straight to your email. And we also have some other video training plus a free workout that's linked in the description. We'll send that straight to your email if you want more specific recipes. But to stay big picture, that first meal should be standardized. It should be high protein and lower in carbs as we described. Now, the second meal today is lunch sometime around that time. And there's two basic things I recommend that you do for lunch. You either get a protein with some greens, so some kind of salad base that you love, throw any kind of protein on top. This could be grilled chicken, wild salmon, some steak, leftovers from the night before. This could also be vegetarian or vegan. You could make some kind of like Buddha bowl, if you will, with some greens, some avocado, some hemp seeds, some tofu or tempeh. So you can do it regardless if you're having meat or not meat in your diet. You're kind of getting the idea of greens plus protein is a great thing for lunch. And what I love about that concept is you can do it basically anywhere. You could be traveling all over the world. You could even go to McDonald's somewhere and still get a grilled chicken salad and still stick with this framework. Another thing that totally works is you can actually make a healthy sandwich. I recommend you get something like Ezekiel bread, which is shown here on the screen, or an organic sourdough. But you can load that up with some avocado, some mustard, some sprouts, maybe some turkey or some chicken or some wild salmon that's mixed in with a little bit of avocado mayo, but make yourself a little healthy sandwich. Again, this is gonna be under 500 calories. It tastes amazing, super convenient, or you could even do it a vegan vegetarian version and get some healthy organic peanut butter or almond butter, Toast up that bread and throw that on there. That also totally works. But either way, think about the concept for lunch or meal number two is greens plus protein or a healthy sandwich. I think that's a really valuable concept. Now, a lot of people get in trouble in the stretch between lunch and dinner because you're eating lunch at around 11 or noon and dinner's not till like six for many people. That's a six hour stretch. And what I find, unless you're very accustomed to fasting and eating fewer meals per day, is most people benefit from having some kind of snack sometime in there around two, three o'clock to take the edge off and make sure you're not starving going into dinner. So some good snacks we recommend inside our Fit Mother meal plan and the free Fit Mom Jumpstart meal plan is getting a fruit of any kind that you like and pairing it with some nuts. Or you can do some jerkies, or you can do some approved protein bars. Um, you know, we have some good options. I'll show you a couple. We got some macadamia nut bars that I absolutely love. You can pair a fruit with some kind of cheese. You can make some nut mix. So I have a whole bunch of goodies down here that I'll show you in a little bit, especially if you get the free Fit Mom Jumpstart. But the idea is get a simple standardized snack. And the cool thing about this stuff is it's non-perishable. You can take it anywhere, whether you're traveling, on the go, picking up kids, doing stuff. Like this doesn't need to be refrigerated. It's just there for you. And just by having a little bit of something, you make sure you're not starving going into dinner. So I think that's a really good idea. Now, when we get to dinner, there's a concept that we teach inside the Fit Mother meal plan called building a perfect plate. And this is what a perfect plate looks like. I want you to imagine a blank plate of food and half of the plate is filled with some kind of fibrous veggie that you love. So this could be broccoli, asparagus, sauteed greens, a side salad, Brussels sprouts, something like that. A quarter of your plate is filled with some kind of protein you love. This could be chicken breast, wild salmon, steak, turkey, tofu, tempeh, a high protein bean mix, something like that. And then the final quarter of your plate is filled with some kind of healthy carb, or if you wanna go lower carb, a healthy fat. So this could be like sweet potatoes. This could be like some kind of brown rice. This could be squash. Um, this could be quinoa. Or if it's healthy fats, this could be avocado, some more nuts and seeds, something like that. 
If you make plates that look like perfect plates, they're almost always around five, 600 calories. And this is a good calorie target for most ladies who wanna lose weight. We wanna probably be around 2000 calories, which is just a ballpark. Yours may be a little bit different, but if you're eating the right number of calories, not too few, but not too many, you're gonna be losing weight at a nice gradual consistent rate, and you're gonna be feeling good, and also giving your body all the nice micronutrients that it needs. So there's many reasons to have the greens, and it's not just because of the fiber, and not just because it keeps us full. These also have a lot of vitamins and minerals that help us thrive. So this perfect plate concept is amazing. You can make so many different kinds of perfect plates. Let me describe a few. Asparagus, salmon and brown rice, amazing perfect plate. Some wild grass-fed steak with a little bit of sweet potato with a side salad, amazing perfect plate. You could even do something like a black bean chili, right? A co totally plant-based on that front with a little bit of quinoa with a side of some broccoli. Amazing, perfect plate. You could make a Buddha bowl, which has a little bit of a quinoa or rice or sweet potato base with some sliced up avocado with any kind of protein you wanna throw in there and top it with some hemp seeds and drizzle some kind of awesome sauce. These are simple things. But look, you could even be so simple with no cooking whatsoever. You can get a tin of some wild salmon, mix it up with some avocado mayo, throw it on the side of some side salad and throw a little avocado on there. It's a low carb, perfect plate with a little olive oil based dressing. It can taste good. Doesn't have to require a lot of prep and cooking. So this concept is key. And after you have dinner, here's what I recommend. If you're a person who's actually struggled with having like a sweet tooth and you feel like you always want a little something extra, give yourself a square or two of some dark chocolate. Get some 70% dark chocolate or greater so it's not super high in sugar. Have a square of it. Just get that little sweet tooth taste out of the way and then you're done for the day. So you're not really restricting yourself too much. You can have a little bit. There's also some really good low sugar coconut ice cream bars that are good. Maybe you have a piece of like a frozen banana that has a little chocolate on it, or maybe you don't need anything at all. But the concept here is that you don't wanna always restrict yourself massively. You can have a little bit of something, like a square of dark chocolate, maybe 50 to 100 calories. It's not gonna break the bank, but it may give you that little satisfaction of a sweet tooth where you don't feel like you have to be so restricted. And then here's my recommendation. After dinner, and after if you have that little post-dinner sweet thing, you brush your teeth and you're done eating for the day. This is a key part about weight loss. We wanna support the metabolism with feeding at regular times, but not constantly eating where we're elevating blood sugar all over the place, and especially late at night. Because at night, the body actually wants to rest and digest. It's not good to really eat well before bed and spike that blood sugar again. So after dinner, start this fasting period where you allow your body to digest. You had a good day, and now you can fast until your first meal the next day. And there's a lot of research on intermittent fasting. There's so many ways to do it. But if you even have a 10, 12 hour fast, so let's say you had dinner at six and you had that little piece of dark chocolate and then you're done eating for the day, you brush your teeth and maybe you just drink some herbal teas or water up until the time you go to bed. And then you have breakfast the next day at eight, you're at a 14 hour fast, which is so good for your metabolism. And then you have a couple meals throughout the day and now you're starting to build some great momentum. So this is a framework on a good female weight loss diet. I hope you found this valuable. And of course, there's more than just watching this little summary overview video. I'd love to help you more directly and give you the printouts of some exact recipes that work, smoothie recipes, and actually just give you the cheat sheet that you can maybe put on your fridge. If you want that, check the description. We have our free Fit Mom Jumpstart. You can enter your email, we'll send you everything. We'll also send you our free 24 minute metabolism boosting workout. Because if you do a meal plan like this and pair the workout two, three times a week, you're gonna be well on your way to losing weight. We've had ladies who haven't even spent a penny on any of our programs, just did the Fit Mom Jumpstart and have lost over 50 pounds. So this is powerful stuff if you apply it into your life. And of course, if you are very motivated, if you like what we stand for here at the Fit Mother Project and you wanna see the best results possible, our full Fit Mother 30X program is in the description. We give you the meal plans, workouts, accountability coaching. You get to work directly with me and my team and we'll ensure you succeed. So all that's in the description. Thank you for being here, my friend. I'm so happy you're here on our Fit Mother Project channel. If you like this and you wanna really help us spread this message of goodness and well-being for busy moms who wanna be healthy for themselves and their families, please hit the thumbs up button. Give this video a like. It helps us spread across YouTube, across the internet, and reach more ladies who need this information. And of course, subscribe to our Fit Mother Project YouTube channel. We literally have hundreds of videos just like this. But we also get more specific into exercise tutorials, motivation stuff, a lot of mindset stuff. So really great stuff on the channel. So subscribe to get instant access. And you can also check that notification bell if you wanna get uh, notified. We publish a new video roughly every single week. So thank you, my friend. This is Dr. Anthony Balduzzi signing off. If you have questions, we'll find you in the description. And I'm really glad you're here and I'll talk to you very soon.